everyone, it's Karen Lee of the Karen Lee Motor Show, and I'm here to tell you that you can have a long-term relationship with a cougar. I'd love for your support. Go to the front page of this channel and press support. Give a few dollars. Not a big deal, but it will mean a lot to me. It means that you really appreciate my channel. Yeah, it's not just for the, those quick little short-term relationships that uh, you want to have a good sexual experience and move on. The reason I can tell you that it is a viable relationship is because I've been in one for the last seven years. There are some challenges, like any relationship, but it works. Now, if you're a younger guy, think, well, what are some of the challenges? Here is what they are. One of the challenges is you're going to be most obvious, which is if you want to have children someday, and you're with an older woman who's had kids and she's done with it, then you better discuss that right away because it's like not a compromising situation. You can't really say, well, let's have half a kid. You have to make that choice. And if you want kids and she doesn't or whatever, that's not going to work. If you're not that gun home on kids, that doesn't, wasn't ever something that you really cared that much about having, then go for it. As long as it's understood from the get-go. Another thing you want to talk about is that you're going to be in different stages of your life. As a younger guy, you might be uh, just starting your career out and you're going to be working a lot of hours. She may be in a completely different different stage of her life. She may be doing a lot of traveling, a passion or a hobby or something that she's always wanted to do. She may be demanding of your time and you might not be able to give it to her. So that's kind of the thing that you want to talk about. Another challenge that you might have, kids. Uh, she may have kids from a prior marriage and you may be closer in age to her kids. How you fit into her nuclear family or if you don't fit into the family, how she gets along with your parents, if that's going to be a conflict. Some of these may not be a problem for you and some of them be worked through as you are seen as a couple. A lot of it has to do with the way you guys act as a couple. If you guys are acting like, well, this is for the long term, you're proud of it and you're not going to let anybody stand in your way. I think most of your family and friends are going to, are going to come around to thinking that this is something that they can support. So a lot depends on you and how you guys handle it. Another thing that might be problematic is if she has a lot of money and you don't. So you might not be able to you know go to the types of places that she used to go to such as really expensive meals and you can only afford uh, McDonald's there has to be some sort of way that you guys can work that out you got to figure out a way to compromise pick and choose like okay tonight we're gonna go out here but the rest of the week we're gonna stay home and cook food so there are ways that everything can be worked out but you need to talk about them and don't be shy about sharing your feelings uh, or if you're feeling insecure about something you need to talk to her about that as well the key is that cougars do not like to play games they're very straightforward Forward and they're gonna tell you how they feel about something and you need to be honest and open really look at yourself and look at where you want to go with your life and if you're in love with this woman she's in love with you it can work I promise you if you have any questions about this or any thoughts that I haven't mentioned put them in the comment section below uh, thank you all for watching my show the Karen Lee Potter show make sure to subscribe to the channel press that button above uh, sign up for my newsletter got a lot of great tips in there and you'll find out a lot of my thoughts that I'm not able to express during the week on my YouTube channel I put out videos every Wednesday and Friday, sometimes Saturday. I love you all. Keep spreading the word and the love. Bye.